Hello from Who Died Today America, and welcome back to our channel. In the past few days, we have received somber news about the passing of extraordinary talents. Today's episode is dedicated to honoring their memory. Additionally, we will recap the stars whom we have recently lost. Before we begin, we kindly ask for your support. If this video or the legacies of these remarkable individuals have touched your life, please consider giving this video a thumbs up as a sign of respect and remembrance. Thank you. The entertainment world has lost a cherished figure, Christina Sandera, known not only for her long-standing partnership with Clint Eastwood, but also for her dedicated philanthropy and love for animals. Sandera passed away at the age of 61, leaving behind a legacy marked by her quiet yet impactful support of environmental and animal causes. Christina, who was deeply involved with the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary Foundation, was celebrated for her unwavering commitment to conservation. Her efforts were instrumental in advancing the Foundation's initiatives, particularly those focused on marine life and equestrian issues. Her passion was evident in every aspect of her work, from hosting gala events to her hands-on approach to animal care, often seen in jeans and pigtails, far from the glitz of Hollywood. Clint Eastwood, her partner of many years, expressed profound sorrow over her loss, reflecting on her kindness and the deep care she brought into his life. The couple, who preferred to keep their relationship away from the spotlight, shared many moments away from the cameras, focusing on shared interests and quiet companionship. Despite her affiliation with celebrity through Eastwood, Christina chose a life of substantive action over superficial fame. Her involvement with the Foundation and her active role in caring for animals showcased a woman of genuine substance and heart. Her legacy will live on through the ongoing work of the causes she championed and the memories cherished by those who knew her best. DJ Randall, a seminal figure in the British jungle and drum and bass scenes, passed away on July 31st at the age of 54. His influence on electronic music, particularly within the genres of jungle and drum and bass, was profound and will be long remembered. Born into the vibrant atmosphere of late 1980s London, DJ Randall was captivated by the burgeoning sounds of acid house music, which he first encountered at the 1987 Notting Hill Carnival. This experience sparked a passion that would see him become a stalwart of the UK rave scene. By the late 1980s, he was already making waves, playing at delirium warehouse parties in East London and making his radio debut on Center Force in 1989. Randall's career took a significant turn when he covered for an absent DJ at the Living Dream Rave in Leighton, delivering a memorable two-and-a-half-hour set that firmly established his presence in the scene. He quickly became known for his sharp mixing skills and ability to energize crowds, securing a place as one of the leading figures in breakbeat hardcore. In addition to his performances, Randall was instrumental behind the scenes, co-owning the influential D Underground record shop and label in Forest Gate. Here, he was pivotal in the release of tracks that would come to define the genre, including the iconic We Are I.E. His involvement with AWOL, a residency that is fondly remembered by fans, solidified his legacy as a key influencer in the drum and bass community. Randall was not only a DJ, but also a respected producer, collaborating with Andy C. on the track Sound Control in 1994 and contributing to the jungle and drum and bass scenes through his own record label, Mac 2, founded in 1997. Throughout his career, he remained at the forefront of the music scene, continuing to play sets that drew fans and newcomers alike. As we reflect on his contributions, DJ Randall's pioneering spirit and dedication to drum and bass will continue to inspire future generations. His beats, mixes, and passion for music live on, cementing his place as a true icon of British electronic music. Haley Merkt, a cherished former contestant on The Bachelor and a vibrant individual known for her infectious spirit and bravery, passed away at the age of 31. Her battle with leukemia came to a close recently, as confirmed through heartfelt tributes and announcements shared by her family and friends. 
Born with a zest for life and an unwavering positive outlook, Haley appeared on the 21st season of The Bachelor in 2017, where she was remembered by Nick Vial and others for her kindness and sweet nature, despite her early exit in the second week. Beyond the reality TV spotlight, Haley was much more than a contestant. She was a beacon of strength and resilience. Diagnosed with leukemia, Haley openly documented her fight against the disease on social media, sharing both her challenges and triumphs. Her journey was marked by courage and grace, qualities that resonated deeply within the Bachelor community and beyond. According to updates from a GoFundMe page set up in her support, Haley faced her diagnosis with a formidable spirit, surpassing medical expectations and embracing every moment with love and laughter. Her final days were spent surrounded by loved ones, reflecting on a life lived fully and with no regrets. The impact of her vibrant personality and her comedic charm was profound, leaving an indelible mark on all who knew her. Haley's legacy is defined not just by her battle with illness, but by her ability to live passionately and inspire others to do the same. As tributes pour in, including poignant words from her fellow Bachelor alumni, it's clear that Haley's memory will be honored and cherished. Her laughter, love, and unwavering positivity have crafted a lasting legacy that will continue to inspire courage and joy in others. Haley Merck's story is a reminder of the strength found in joy and the power of living in the moment. She will be profoundly missed, but her spirit will forever inspire those who were touched by her journey. Reyes Maranta, a beloved figure in the world of baseball, tragically passed away at the age of 31 following a motorcycle accident in the Dominican Republic. His untimely death has left the baseball community in mourning, as expressed in heartfelt tributes from his former teams and colleagues. Born in the Dominican Republic, Maranta's journey in baseball began when he signed with the San Francisco Giants as an international free agent at just 17. His talent quickly became evident as he ascended through the ranks, making a significant impact in Major League Baseball. Over six seasons, Reyes pitched for the Giants, Los Angeles Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks, and Los Angeles Angels, appearing in 136 games from 2017 to 2021. His powerful presence on the mound, characterized by his formidable fastball and sharp sliders, made him a respected and formidable pitcher in the league. Beyond his athletic prowess, Reyes was known for his warm spirit and camaraderie. His enthusiasm for the game and his positive attitude were infectious, endearing him to teammates, coaches, and fans alike. The Giants' tribute on X, expressing how deeply he will be missed, reflects the profound impact Reyes had both on and off the field. The loss of Reyes Maranta is not only felt within Major League Baseball, but also in his home community in the Dominican Republic, where he was a symbol of hope and success. His journey from a young hopeful to a major league pitcher has been an inspiration to many aspiring athletes in his home country. As the baseball community joins in grief, the legacy of Reyes Maranta will be remembered for his contributions to the game, his vibrant spirit, and the indelible mark he left on all who had the pleasure of knowing him. The thoughts of many are with his family and friends during this incredibly difficult time as they mourn the loss of a remarkable individual whose life was cut tragically short. Kim Johnson, a beloved finalist from Survivor Africa, passed away at the age of 79. Her daughter, Carrie Johnson Tichi, shared the news of her passing, celebrating her as the coolest mom and grandmother in the world. While the cause of her death was not disclosed, her family highlighted her enduring legacy of strength, resilience, kindness, and generosity. Kim captured the hearts of millions when she competed on Survivor in 2001. At 56, she was the oldest contestant that season to win the final immunity challenge and remains one of the oldest female competitors to reach the final tribal council. Her remarkable performance on the show, where she finished as the runner-up to Ethan's own, 
left an indelible mark on the series and its fans. Ethan Zone, her fellow contestant and the winner of their Survivor season, paid a heartfelt tribute to Kim, expressing his gratitude for having known her and competed alongside her. He remembered her fondly and promised to honor her memory with a planter's punch, a nod to their shared experiences and the joy she brought to the game. Kim's journey on Survivor was not just a testament to her physical endurance, but also her mental fortitude and charismatic spirit. She defied expectations and inspired viewers with her tenacity and spirited competition, proving that age is but a number when it comes to achieving extraordinary feats. Her passing is felt deeply within the Survivor community, which has faced multiple losses this year, including Sonia Christopher, another revered contestant. Kim's legacy, however, will live on through the countless lives she touched, both on and off the screen. Her family's memories of her positivity, evidenced by her rose-colored glasses, will continue to inspire and resonate with all who knew her. Kim Johnson will be dearly missed, but her story of courage, adventure, and compassion ensures that her impact will not be forgotten. Esther Blanche an enchanting presence in the world of soap operas both in South Africa and the United States, passed away at the age of 51 in Los Angeles. Born in Rustenburg, northwest province of South Africa, Esta grew up on a game farm, surrounded by a diverse array of wildlife, which imbued in her a profound appreciation for nature, a theme often reflected in her later works and public engagements. Esta first captured the public's attention in 1991 as Miss Teen South Africa, which springboarded her into a successful acting career. She was beloved for her portrayal of Bianchi Node Hartman on the South African drama Egoli Place of Gold from 1992 to 1995. Seeking broader horizons, Esta ventured to the United States, where she quickly landed the role of Gillian Andrashi on the iconic American daytime drama, All My Children. Her character, a mischievous princess, became a fan favorite until her departure from the show in 2001, when Esta decided to return to South Africa. Her legacy extended beyond her soap opera roles. Esta was also known for her work in theater, appearing in productions such as The Glass Menagerie and Pygmalion, and for her contributions to television as a presenter on environmental and children's programs in South Africa. Fluent in multiple languages, Esta's versatility and charm transcended cultural and linguistic barriers, endearing her to a global audience. After taking a brief hiatus from acting to focus on her personal development and entrepreneurial endeavors, including opening a spa, Esta returned to the screen in 2011 to reprise her role on All My Children during its final weeks of broadcast, a return that was celebrated by fans and colleagues alike. Esta's life was marked by her resilience, kindness, and a relentless pursuit of personal and professional fulfillment. Her legacy as a performer and a humanitarian is etched in the hearts of those who knew her and admired her work. She leaves behind a legacy of strength and grace, qualities that defined both her career and her personal life. Her spirit, like her roles on screen, will forever resonate with those who were fortunate enough to witness her remarkable journey. Pretty Pastel Please, the vibrant spirit behind the popular YouTube channel that captivated an audience of over 690,000 subscribers, has passed away suddenly at the age of 30. The news of her death shared on her Instagram page, she has left a community of fans and fellow creators in shock and mourning. Alexandra, known affectionately to her followers as Alex, was an Australian content creator renowned for her engaging fashion hauls, travel vlogs, and an infectious zest for life that radiated through the screen. Since her first video in December 2017, Alex's unique voice and quirky content including challenges like eating only 7-Eleven food in Japan for a week, a video that attracted over 4 million views, defined her channel. Her humorous and heartfelt interactions, notably featuring her beloved pet bird, brought joy and laughter to viewers around the world. 
Beyond her light-hearted and entertaining uploads, Alex courageously shared her personal struggles and triumphs. From her candid discussions about her divorce to dealing with online trolls. These moments of vulnerability made her not just a creator, but a relatable figure who connected deeply with her audience. Her recent venture into Twitch streaming had shown her adaptability and commitment to growing her connection with her community, making her untimely departure even more poignant. The final live stream on June 25th, remembered by many, now serves as a bittersweet farewell to a creator who was only beginning to explore new horizons. As the digital community comes to terms with this profound loss, the planned memorial on YouTube and Instagram promises to be a celebration of her life, highlighting the joy and light she brought into the lives of so many. In respecting her family's request for privacy, her fans continue to honor her memory by sharing stories and moments where Alex's content touched their lives. The world of online content has lost not just a creator, but a bright, enthusiastic innovator in Alexandra. Her legacy of bravery, creativity, and a genuine love for life will continue to inspire and resonate within the community she built. Breaking news of the day. News 1. In a profound interview with Matthew Dancona on Fane, iconic actor Michael Caine, at 90 years old, opened up about his views on mortality and the future, encapsulating his thoughts with, I won't be here to see it, but I'll watch it from upstairs. The revered actor, who has recently decided to retire, discussed his new fiction book, Deadly Game, and his life's work during the candid conversation. Kane, known for his influential presence in cinema and recipient of two Academy Awards, expressed deep admiration for the upcoming generation, particularly his grandsons, praising their progressiveness as fabulous. His optimism for their potential shines through, even as he contemplates his own limited time left to witness their achievements. Reflecting on his illustrious career, Kane mentioned his decision to retire was influenced by the desire to end on a high note, following commendable reviews and impactful roles. His last film, The Great Escaper, where he portrays a World War II veteran, marks the culmination of his remarkable journey in film. Kane's introspective thoughts during the interview highlight a serene acceptance of his twilight years and a heartfelt appreciation for the legacy he leaves behind both in his personal life and in cinematic history. News 2. Former President Jimmy Carter, the oldest living ex-president at 99, remains under hospice care at his home in Plains, Georgia, debunking recent social media rumors claiming otherwise. A spokesperson from the Carter Center, the global charity initiated by Carter and his late wife Rosalind, confirmed his status. Since February 18, 2023, Carter has been receiving end-of-life care following a series of health challenges, including a significant battle with melanoma that spread to his liver and brain. Despite the prognosis and ceasing medical treatments, Carter has surpassed expectations, continuing to live beyond the typical time frame for hospice care, now over 17 months. His grandson, Jason Carter, in a Southern Living interview in June, shared insights into the former president's condition. According to him, Jimmy Carter is not fully alert daily, but experiences the world as best as he can during this profound phase of his life. Jimmy Carter, who served as the 39th president from 1977 to 1981, was married to Rosalind Carter for 77 years until her passing on November 19, 2023. Their long partnership was marked by their dedication to public service and humanitarian work.